题。Kumusta po ang bawat isa? The peace, love, and grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with us all. Amen. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. So ngayon po ay nasa week three na tayo ng ating One Church One Vision topic at ang at ang title po ng ating katuwaan sa umaga ito ay One Heart Towards Unity. Amen. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. So When you hear the word one heart, ano po yung unang pumasok sa isipan natin? Because one heart means it is a complete sincerity, complete devotion, and very willingly and with pleasure unification. Yung bang mag-unite tayo in one heart. Amen? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Sabi nga po ano sa Colossians chapter 3 verse 14, sa Amplified po, Beyond all these things, put on and wrap yourselves in unselfish love, which is the perfect bond of unity, for everything is bound together in agreement with each other, with each one seeks the best for others. It's very literal na sinabi dito sa scripture that love is the perfect bond of unity. So meaning, if we have one heart, if we have love in our hearts, we will be perfectly united. Amen? Can we all stand po for our scripture today? Hallelujah. Praise God. Kahit po nandiyan kayo sa inyong mga tahanan, let's just honor God with His scriptures today. And our scripture today is from Acts chapter 4 verses 29 to 30. Amen? Basahin po natin. Now, Lord, Look on our threats and grant to your servants that with all boldness they may speak your word by stretching out your hand to heal and that signs and wonders may be done through the name of your holy servant Jesus. And when they had prayed, the place where they were assembled together was shaken and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and they spoke the word of God with boldness. Now the multitude of those who believed were of one heart and one soul. Neither did anyone say that any of the things he possessed was his own, but they had all things in common. And with great power, the apostles gave witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great grace was upon them. O Father God in heaven, in the mighty name of Jesus, and in the power of the Holy Spirit, We praise you, Lord, and we thank you for your word today, O God. Hallelujah. We came to you today, O God, with humility, O God, and reverence in our hearts. Cleanse us, O God, with all the blemishes you see in our hearts, mind, and soul. Hallelujah. Open our spiritual eyes, Lord, that we may, we may see you through. We may see your goodness, your faithfulness, your glory. Open our spiritual ears, O God, that we may hear your voice clearly. And open our spiritual heart, mind, and soul, and our understanding that we may know your revelations, O oh God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, I pray and declare that you let everyone who hear your words to understand and experience the power of it. May it pierce deeply into our hearts, mind, and soul, that we may obey it, O oh God. Hallelujah. Lord, I came to your presence today with a humble heart. Empty me of myself, O God, and fill me with yours. Remove all my earthly wisdom, O God, and fill me with your divine wisdom. And just use me as a mouthpiece to deliver your words to your beloved people. Just hide me, Lord, behind your back, so what they see and hear is you alone. And use me as an empty vessel na magiging daluyan ng iyong mga salita sa umaga ito. No flesh cords shall be lifted up, but your name alone should be praised exalted and magnified. And I pray, Lord, that you keep this place safe, O God, and all from all the movement of the enemy around us, O God. Cover us, Lord, each and every one of us with the most precious blood of Jesus, that no weapons of the enemy formed against us shall prosper. And let the power of the Holy Spirit move in our hearts, that we may fully understand your words, 
which will give us light to see your will for us clearly, to walk with you and live according to your will. In Jesus' name and with the power of the Holy Spirit, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. So going back to our topic today, one heart towards unity. Maybe you will ask, why one heart? Maybe uh, you will say, can we not unite with our own heart's desire? Of course not. Amen? Sabi nga, ano, as I said in Colossians, love is the bond for perfect, perfect bond for unity. Meaning, if there is love in our heart, we can be united dun sa, 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 sa company natin, sa church natin, sa mga leader natin, sa, sa life group natin. Amen? And as you all notice, yung mga previous lessons natin from week 1 and week 2, it all comes with the top, with the theme of teamwork, unification, uni unity. Amen? Because we are, been, we, we are told Tinuturuan tayo to have one heart. We are being taught to work together in a team. We are being taught to work together, not divided. Amen? Hindi po tayo tinuturuan ng ating simbahan, hindi po tayo tinuturuan ng ating Bible na magkanya-kanyang buhay. Amen? Especially in achieving our mission, our vision. Especially in, in, in doing what God has appointed us to do. Amen? And uh, sabi nga po sa Psalms, chapter 133, How good and pleasant it is when God's people live together in unity. You see, God is pleased if we see His people working together in unity. Hindi yung nagkakawatak-watak tayo. Mas mapaplease natin ang Lord kung mayroon tayong unification in one heart, one mind, and one soul. Amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And uh, you know, the same personally, we have our own dreams, we have our own desires for ourselves, for our family, but we may not achieve it if it is not God's will. Amen? We must be aligned with God's heart. We must obey Him. Hindi tayo yung masusunod sa buhay natin. Since we accepted Jesus as our Lord and Savior, we surrender everything to Him and he, we allowed Him to manage our life. We allowed Him to fulfill our dreams. Amen? Tapos, if we have if we have unity with God, if we obey him, then God will be pleased to us and he he will bestow his blessings to us. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 So, next slide please. Ang ating pong objective sa mga ito. The first one is to understand the prevailing circumstances that lead people to have one heart in unity. I mean, prevailing circumstances. Ano ba yung mga prevailing circumstances na to? These are the situations that can lead people to unite and have one heart. Today, in our message, malalaman natin kung ano yung mga prevailing circumstances that will lead us together. Para maintindihan natin na hindi tayo kailangan gumawa ng kanya-kanyang buhay, ng magsasarili tayo. Amen? And the next one is to apply the principles in our present generation for the achievement of unity among the community of believers. Amen. Here we will learn how to apply these principles that we need to achieve unity in our church, in our community, in our work. Amen. Because our unity is not only uh, in outside our church. It should also be in, in our home. It should also be in our world. It should also be in the people around us, in our neighborhood, in our community, in our country as a whole. Amen? We must learn these principle, principles for the achievement of unity among us, especially as believers. Amen? Dapat sa atin magsisimula yung unity. Kung yung, yung community natin ay hindi nagkakaisa, let's start it with in our home. Let's start it in ourselves. Let's start it with us. Because we know, because we believe in the scriptures, we believe that unity, that God wants unity among us. Amen? Hindi po yung kanya-kanya tayo. Yung nagsasarili tayo ng, 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 ng mga prinsipyo natin, ng mga, ng mga goals natin, ng mga dreams natin, ng mga visions natin. 
how can we achieve yung, yung vision natin if we, uh, we work alone? If we will unite ourselves to our leaders, to our pastors, to, our, to the authorities over us. Amen? We need to be united. And another thing is why we need to be united. Mas malaki at mas mapapadali ang paggawa natin ng mga ng mga hangarin at pagtupad natin sa ating mga hangarin ng simbahan. Yung vision natin, mas effective, mas maraming ma, ma-achieve na work. Amen? As Paul said in Philippians chapter 2 verse 2, Then make my joy complete by being like-minded, having the same love, being one in the spirit and of one mind. Amen? Praise God. Not only one heart pala or, love or same love, but also one spirit and one mind. And you know, brothers and sisters, we've been taught since we, we accepted Jesus in our lives, we've been taught that we will worship the Lord, we will obey Him in one spirit and one truth. Hindi lang pala yun. Dapat one heart, one mind and one soul. Meaning, if we are united with God, He will be pleased with us. And pagka may obedient tayo sa ating mga puso, God will bestow His blessing to us. Amen? Hallelujah. Next slide, please. Sabi dito, no? Unity is crucial. Unity is crucial to achieving our goals and dreams. Why crucial? Why is it important? Crucial is it important? Because it bonds people in working together to accomplish what needs to be accomplished. Amen? Because if unity is not important, our church will not grow. Our community will not improve. Our country will not be successful. Amen? Our vision, our goals will not be achieved kung may kanya-kanya tayong prinsipyo, kung may kanya-kanya tayong dreams. Amen? Hallelujah. There will be division among us. There will be division among the members of the church. There will be division among the leaders of the church. Amen? So, what will happen is, we will be divided. Yung sa halip na big group, magkakaroon na ng division. Magiging smaller groups na sila. But if we unite in one, in one heart, in one soul, in one mind, one mind, this smaller group will become one big group. And this one big group will achieve more and effectively. Amen? Hallelujah, hallelujah. And if we are united in one heart, mas madali nating ma, 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 magagawa yung vision natin. Ano ba yung vision natin? Go and make disciples. You think if you are alone, matututunan mo o makakaya mo mag-evangelize? No, I mean, that's why we are in a church. That's why we are we are trained, we are taught, we are we are being taught by our teachers, by our leaders, by our pastors how to make disciples, how to evangelize. Amen. Because if you do it alone, may hirap mo, hindi mo makakaya yan. Kahit pa sabihin mo, memorize mo na lahat ng, ng verses for evangelism. If you are alone, you cannot do it. Amen? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Sabi nga po ano ni Paul doon sa 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 10. I appeal to you, brothers and sisters, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree with one another in what you say, and that there be no divisions among you, but that you be perfectly united in mind and in thought. Laging sinasabi dito sa scripture, we must be united in mind and in thought and in heart. So meaning, these three comes together. Hindi pwede one heart lang, hindi pwede one mind lang, hindi pwede one soul lang. Dapat united din yung buong heart, mind, and soul natin. Amen? And you know, brothers and sisters, People around us will not believe us. People people around us or the lost souls around us will not come to us, will not come to our church if they know that there is division among its members. Amen? How would the people around us will trust our church if they know and they see by their own eyes that there is division, that there is different vision, that there is different plans, that there is different dreams 
among the leaders. Amen. Hallelujah. That's the very reason why we have to work in one vision. So we can do what God has commanded us to do. And that is our leaders are, are, are teaching us. That is our leaders are telling us to be united. Amen. Hindi yung, yung may sariling vision si Pastor Enrich. Tapos may sariling yung palang vision si Pastor Almario. The group will be divided. The church will be divided. So, hindi sila magiging effective in achieving our goals because there is unity among our leaders. And if there is unity among the leaders, there will also be disunity among the members. Amen? But, if our leaders are united, obeying the leader, of the leaders, of course, its members also will be united. Amen? Hallelujah, hallelujah. But take note, brothers and sisters, sabi dito, uniting for the sake of unity will not bring a community to a complete unity. Let me emphasize on this. Uniting for the sake of unity will not bring a community or a church to a complete unity. Partial unity lang pala yun. Ito yung para lang masabi na nakikiisa ka eh, makikiisa ka na lang. Ito yung sinasabi na para lang walang masabi si pastor o si leader mo eh, mag-agree ka na lang. But in your heart, in your mind, in your soul, against ka doon sa sinasabi ng leader mo. Against ka doon sa sinasabi ng pastor mo. How you will be united if you are against with your leader? Amen? These are the situations or conditions where people of the church will be obliged to unite completely. Ito yung, ito nga, uh, this, complete unity is achieved by contributory conditions which will compel people to unite completely. Ito yung, yung mga condition where people will, where, where people will unite and ob obliged to unite. The good example is, Kung meron sa ko na katulad ng mga nangyayari ngayon sa Pilipinas, may pagbaha, may bagyo, and this pandemic, people unite. Amen? In emergency situation, people unite. They disregard their social status, they disregard kung ano man yung, yung antas ng buhay nila. But if they see some situations, people will, oblig will be obliged to unite. Amen? Hallelujah. And it says here, Unity takes three different levels until complete unity is achieved. Level one. Ito yung when people heard, understood, and partake on the task. Because they understood that there is a very important and everybody will need to partake. Amen. Everybody will not agree and unite in words but not in action. Take note. Yung level 1, ito yung everybody heard and understand that a task is being un is being undertaken. They will not, they will agree and unite but in words only. Not in, not in action. Uh, example lang ano, ito yung pag sinabi ni Nanay Julie na may practice tayo ng, ng 9 a.m. Friday dapat maagang dumating. So all of us, the worship team, the Levites will say, yes, nai, opo, nai. Amen? Tapos, sabi nila kay Julie, after ng, ng service ng Friday, after ng lunch, may practice. Opo, nai. Opo lahat ng Levites. Pero pagkatapos ng lunch, yung isa umuwi sa bahay, yung isa natulog na, yung isa, may pupuntahan daw. Yung isa nandoon, kung ano ang ginagawa, nang straight ang buko, or whatever. And you, everybody agree, but in words only. So, anong-ano mangyayari? Wala pa rin, uh, uh, wala pa rin effectiveness. Walang work na magagawa because wala na. Nagkawatak-watak na. Wala nang naiwan after ng lunch. Amen? Level 2. This is where people around get hurt and conviction is affecting them to take action. Ito naman yung, yung medyo strong na yung pagkasabi ni Nanay Julie na Levites, may practice tayo after ng lunch. Na medyo na hurt na tayo, nakakahiya na kay Nanay Julie. Lagi na lang yung sinasabi. Nakakahiya na kay Lord. 
He called me for this. He called me as a Levi, as a worship team. Pero, nasaan yung commitment ko to do so? Wala na yung sense of responsibility ko. Brothers and sisters, nandoon na yung conviction natin na mag-practice Nandun na yung conviction natin na dumating ng maaga and just praise God, nandito na tayo. This is the level where there is already conviction in our hearts to unite, to include ourselves in the mission, in the vision, or the undertaking. Amen? Nandun na yung, yung, yung pagkakaisa natin, ah, medyo strong na si Nanay Julie, kailangan ko na talaga pumata. So, nandito na tayo. And, of course, practice will start. Amen? But, Uy, meron pang level 3. Amen? Sa level 3, they will take action as they themselves are affected and at the state of losing something or someone important. Ito yung level na napag sinabi na nila na Julie na at exactly 9 a.m. Friday or exactly 3 o'clock Friday, mag-practice tayo. Ang malilay, magpapakain. Amen? So, this is the time where people then take action. Of course, kahit inaantok ka, kahit marami ka pang gagawin, kahit gusto mo pang gumala, a-attend ka na ng practice. Why? Kasi magpapakain ka pag nalate ka. Kasi magpapakain ka next week pag hindi ka umaten. Amen? Mapabawasan yung allowance mo. So, this is the level where the, this is the situation where we ourselves are being affected. Or in worst scenario, when people's lives are at stake. Amen? Like when there is flood, there is rain, there are storms. All of us are affected and the tendency is to take action. To unite with others in helping one another. Amen? But let me just ask you this. Do we still need to wait for this time to include ourselves with our leaders? To obey our leaders? Do we still need to wait for this kind of situation to include ourselves in unity for a good deed, for a good cause, for the vision of our church? Hihintayin pa ba natin may mangyaring masama sa kapaligiran natin bago tayo tumulong, bago tayo makiisa? No, amen. Amen? When our leaders are asking us to unite with them, when our leaders are asking us to do something, Let's just obey them and unite with them. Kasi hindi naman nila yung sinasabi para lang sa kanila. This is for the work of God. This is for the advancement of kingdom in our world, in, in, in this nation. Amen? This is for the improvement of our church. Amen? Hallelujah, hallelujah. And just obey our leaders because they cannot do it alone. Kaya nga may members ang church eh. Kaya nga may members ang, ang life group eh. For, for us to be united with them, with our leaders, to accomplish a certain task. Task, I mean. Hindi lang pwede na yung leader na lang ang lahat. Yung leader na ang susundo, yung leader ang magluluto, yung mamabaleke, maghuhugas. Yung leader pa rin ang tatayo sa pulpito. No, amen. Dapat the labor is equally divided among its members. Amen? And there is unity, there is one heart, there is one soul and one mind in unification, in achieving that task. Amen? Hallelujah, hallelujah. It says here, complete unity is achieved when a community is brought to a condition of having one heart to fulfill its vision. Amen? Hallelujah. What does it mean to, to have one heart? Sabi ko nga po kanina, ano, sa opening, one heart means complete sincerity, devotion, very willingly and with pleasure to your mind. Hindi yung, hindi nga yung sinasabi natin, napipilitan ka lang para lang masabi na nakikisa ka sa leader mo, sa church mo, sa pastor mo, is makikisa ka na lang. Pero nandun yung murmuring mo, nandun yung, yung, yung puso mo na, ay, ano ba yan si ate? Ay, ano ba yan si, si pastor? No, amen. Amen. We should unite with them with gladness. We should unite with them with pleasure and very willingly. And you know, brothers and sisters, if the people or the members of the church are united, we are being more effective and more works, more goals can be accomplished. Amen. And if people are united in one vision, katulad nga ng vision na nilalakaran natin, we will be, 
we will save more souls. Amen. Marami tayong madadala dito sa church. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Next slide, please. Sabi dito, ano, there are certain conditions that brings the community to one heart. Ano ba itong mga conditions na to that will bring us together in one heart? Meron pa pala, akala ko level lang, level 1, 2, and 3. But it says this, there are conditions that bring a community to have one heart. The first one is a threat of severe persecution. Sabi sa Acts chapter 4 verse 29, Now Lord, look on their threats and grant to your servants that with all boldness they may speak your word. Amen. Grant to your servants. Ito yung prayer ni na Paul and Peter, ni na Peter and John when they were being persecuted. And you know, brothers and sisters, they pray that the Lord will grant them the boldness to speak thy words. Amen. Hindi sila nag-request kay Lord ng Lord, take me out of this, pinag-persecute na kami. Lord, take me out of this. Yung high priest, pinagsabihan na kami na, na hindi na magsalita in front of the people. No. Peter and John prayed for the for the boldness to speak more of his words. Amen. Amen. This request is consumed with God's ghost and glory. Not for the comfort and advancement of the disciples. Amen. Hindi yung para sa ikabubuti ng mga disciples, but they ask for the boldness, the strength, the courage to speak more of God's word. Amen? And by this, they definitely know that there will be more or severe persecution ahead. Alam na nila na may persecution, but still, they ask for more wisdom. They ask for more boldness. The threat is already there. Amen? And, 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 and you know, brothers and sisters, no, sana ganun din tayo. Hindi yung pagka na-persecute na tayo, hindi yung pagka na-deny na tayo dun sa mga in-invite natin, mawawala na tayo ng gana. Amen? Hindi yung pagka na-deny na tayo or hindi in-accept yung invitation natin eh, magtatapo na tayo kay Lord or mawawala na tayo ng gana to, to invite again some other people. No, amen? We have to ask God for more boldness. Amen? And you know, brothers and sisters, sa panahon ngayon na may pandemic around us, but this not affect us in, 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 in evangelizing. Amen? This pandemic didn't paralyze us in sharing and spreading the gospel. Actually, mas, mas pinadali pa nga ni Lord yung pag-evangelize natin ngayon, di ba? Kasi we can, we, can, we can share it on our social media. Katulad na lang itong Friday service natin. Dati, uh, buong dyan na lang yung nakakaminig, yung mga ini-invite ng lati na nakakapunta dito. But now, even though we are so little inside the worship room, but I do believe that this FB live streaming is all over the world. Marami na nakakakita, marami na nakakapanood. Amen. And this this pandemic brings, uh, God brings, is, brings this pandemic for us, for our good. Hindi lang para pahagapan tayo, but this pandemic brought us uh, to spread more the gospel of God. Amen? Hallelujah. Sabi nga ano, hindi lang naman lahat ng, ng don't look to the, to the, to the bitter side of, of this pandemic, but look on the good, good side of this pandemic. Amen? Hallelujah. Sabi nga ano sa Genesis 50-20, You intended to harm me, but God intended it for good to accomplish what is now being done the saving of many lives. Amen. Hallelujah. Kasi kung noon na may na, na may face to face tayo na service and people come here every Friday, every Friday lang tayo nagkakita nagkakasama. But when the pandemic starts, nag-start na rin tayo, nag-start na rin tayo ng live streaming, nag-start na rin tayo na na, na, na makita sa buong mundo. Kahit yung mga family natin na nasa Pilipinas, nasa sa remote area, they can watch it anytime because it's already there. Amen? So, the evil brought this pandemic to us but God intended is for our good. Amen? Mas pinadali niya yung pag-evangelize natin. So, brothers and sisters, let's not stop in posting 
uh, good news and posting scriptures na ba sa, sa Facebook account natin, sa IG, or in our social media. Kasi we may not know na yung mga nag scroll lang sa Facebook when you post something, we may not know na may pinagdadaanan ang sister natin o ang kaibigan na natin na nandun sa Pilipinas o nasa, nasa ibang party ng mundo. When they read your post, somehow it will help them. Amen? Somehow they will it will encourage them. So let's not stop in posting, in 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 uploading, katulad ng mga, may mga YouTube channel. Post something that will encourage them. Post something that will bring glory to God, that will help them to trust more and more by Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Next slide, please. After persecutions of Peter and John, anong nangyari? Miracle of healing took place. Amen? Ano yung mga miracles na nangyari? Because they prayed for more to God, they prayed for more boldness and, and, and courage, God shows His miracle. Nakakapag-heal na sila. And the first na pinag-heal nila is yung late beggar since birth. Na papunta sila dun sa, 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 sa temple, they see this beggar. And the beggar come to them and ask for something. Pero ano sabi ni Peter? Silver or gold, I do not have. What I have, I will give you. So pinagaling nila, through the power of the Holy Spirit, through the power of God, pinagaling nila yung lame, nakalakad yun, and he followed them. So when the people saw what they did to that lame beggar, namangha sila. And they follow Peter and John. And that's the start. That 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 and that's the the start of their opportunity to preach the gospel. Doon na nagsimula mga aral si Peter at saka si John. And you know, brothers and sisters, multitude believes. Sabi nga doon sa Acts ano, five thousand men believe. Men pa lang yun. How much more yung women at ang children? And it says is that. If there was a great commotion, they got arrested and preaching the gospel. They were threatened and been told to leave the city. They were in prison, put on trial, and released with a stern warning not to preach in the name of Jesus. So what happened then? Next slide, please. Whenever there is a perceived danger, people come close together. Amen. Hallelujah. People help each other. People start talking again. Sabi nga ano, it takes the barriers of communication away and make people talk to one another. People get united in prayer. Because when Peter and, and John uh, see that, 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 that there is already a threat in them, that they were already persecuted, they come to their believers, to their community of believers. Of course, kung pinapersecute ka, kung tinatanggihan ka na ng mga hinahayo mo, saan ka pupunta? Pupunta ka pa ba sa kanila? Pupunta ka ba sa barangay pag susumbog sa kapitan? Of course not. Pupunta ka sa pastor mo. Pupunta ka sa life group mo. Maghihingi ka doon ng tulong. Amen? And of course, your, your group, your life group, will help you. And this is one kind of unification. People come closer together and they help each other. And then people really start talking together. Ayun nga, yun sinasabi ko dun sa Acts 4.23 On their release, Peter and John went back to their own people and reported all what all, all the chief priests and the elders had said to them. Ayun, pumunta sila dun sa community of believers. Hindi sila pumunta dun sa high priest hindi sila pumunta doon sa mga Sadducees kasi sila yung nagbabawal na, mag, na magsabi na, na, mag, na magpahalin na ng salita ng Diyos eh. But they went to their community of believers. And what the believers do? They raise their voices together in prayer. Ganyan din dapat tayo, ano, brothers and sisters. Pag pinapersecute tayo, pumunta tayo doon sa taong alam natin magpapalakas sa atin spiritually. Why? Because they can pray for us. Because there, 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 is, there are our support line. Amen. They will help us. 
they will encourage us, they will strengthen us. Amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hindi yung pinapersecute ka na magsusumbong ka doon sa mga unbelievers. What do you think they will tell you? Stop it! Sasabihin mo ng unbelievers, stop it! Nagyan ka na, tuloy ka na. No, amen. You have to go, to go to the community of believers. You have to go to your leader. You have to go to your pastor. And they can pray for you. Amen? Katulad nga ng community ng believers ni na Peter and John. They raised their voices together in prayer. Amen? And what happened? Nag-shaken yung lugar kung nasaan sila. That's the power of God. Amen? Next slide, please. The next is a sense of hope at God's power. Sabi dito sa Acts 4, verses 30 and 31, By stretching out your hand to heal, and that signs and wonders may be done through the name of your holy servant Jesus. And when they prayed, the place where they were assembled together was shaken, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit, and they spoke the word of God with boldness. Amen. Hallelujah. Try to imagine the power of God at that very moment. Amen. How awesome it is na, na maranasan natin yung physical manifestation ng, ng power of God. Amen. How awesome it is na maramdaman natin talaga yung presensya ng Lord na alam natin hindi tayo nagkakait, na, na hindi tayo nag-iisa. 